What's up everybody and welcome back to just the regular old retro bowl where I can't speak English for some reason. And as you see, no one is injured. We have this terrible kicker who's not actually marked for the Hall of Fame. Let me just make sure I have everyone marked. Okay, I don't know why he wasn't marked, but he is actually terrible. Why did I get this guy? Why? I don't remember. He'll probably be gone after this season. I'm going to pick up someone better. But anyways, let's see if Houston can get their first win. Actually be the first team to get a win in our entire conference. Other than, well, our team. But I don't plan on giving it to them. We do have a good defense. And an amazing offense. Where we have pretty much two five-star receivers, a five-star quarterback and tight end and running back. I think it's a four and a half star, two four and a half star receivers or something like that. Gibson's a five star, the quarterback's a five star, Singler's a five star. I mean we have the most absolute stack team as I thought Vince would come back for that, but he did not. He kept running. That's okay. I hit him that time. Now, let's see. Singler will get this one. Which, actually, I just looked at the stats before I did this video. And Singler actually led my team in touchdowns last season and broke our team record, actually, for touchdowns in a season with nearly 20 touchdowns, which is insane. I don't know any one that gets that many touchdowns in the real NFL that isn't like the only good player on their team and doesn't actually go anywhere because they're the only player on the team doing anything and they get the team's entirety of touchdowns and yards and everything so it makes them look insane but really it's just the rest of the team is terrible which, don't get me wrong, if they're good enough to carry a team to even one win when they're the main guy, kind of like Saquon on the Giants, he was their main guy for the longest time, and he will no longer be that main guy, where he is no longer a Giant, he is an Eagle, and I just completely botched that field goal there, or extra point. I clicked way too early. Hopefully defense can get a stop. They can't. Unfortunate, but we'll slow our pace down here a bit. We do get ball at half, so even if they score again, it'll be easily fixed. Actually, I might just try and score as quick as possible, and then let them have another go at it, and then I was just go for maybe hopefully another touchdown would be nice but I would be completely fine if I got just a field goal off of it I mean the idea is score quick and then ooh I got sacked I wasn't paying attention to the backfield no but the idea is to score quick and then let them score or not hopefully not but just based off how they have been playing so far they will score but the idea is score and then let them have their shot score again maybe a field goal or something but it doesn't look like that's going to happen just based on the fact that I can't even make it past half field of course I finally have now but there's not enough time for me to do anything even after they score. So I'm going to try and just slow the pace down a bit instead of trying to force it down the field real quick. I think that was just the universe itself saying slow down. Alright? It's how you're going to win this game if you slow down. So I guess I shall listen and I shall slow down. just enough to where 
I score with 20, 30 seconds left. Not enough time for them to score. It'll be tie at half. We get ball at half. And then technically means we have the lead. Because I don't think their defense can stop my offense. Well, I mean it can, but I doubt it will. What I say, 20, 30 seconds, right in the middle of what I guessed. I'm going to go for two, throw it quick to the outside to Hearns. And there we go, tied, going into half. And we get ball. Also, I just hit my finger on the table, that hurt. Ouchie. I'm fine, though. Thanks for asking. I didn't break it. it just, I just... I don't even know if you heard it. Probably not. It didn't make a noise. It just... I just hit the knuckle, which is where the nerve is. And just kind of sent a shock up my hand. Comment down below if you've ever had that happen. And you know what? While you're down there commenting, might as well... Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you know? It's only gonna help me. Yeah, it's a good reason. It's only gonna help me. <sighs> don't listen to me, people. You don't have to do anything. Or do you. That sounds like a threat. I'm not threatening you. I'm asking nicely if you could like my video. Please. It, it'll help my channel out. Yep. And also, if you like it, then uh, inevitably, even if you don't like my my uh, content, if you hit the like button, automatically, for some reason, YouTube thinks you like it. And then you'll end up actually liking it. So it's a good idea. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe just don't listen to me. Or do listen to me. Because I need you to listen to me. Once again, with... Uh, I'm going to stop talking, but not really. I'm going to just focus on the game. Nice. I went to fourth down. On one where I didn't need to. Because I was just being stupid and not focusing on the game. And being weird. Yeah, I'll say it so it's not mean when you say it in the comments. I'm weird. Oh, defense actually gets a stop. That gives me some more wiggle room. And I like wiggle room. Because who doesn't like wiggle room? I have claustrophobia. I hate small spaces. I can't watch... I don't know, have any of you seen like the Mr. Beast videos where it's like I was buried underground for a week or something like that? I can't watch those videos. I can't breathe watching those because I have claustrophobia. And for some reason seeing him in a small place makes my brain think I'm in a small place. And it, it brings on a whole panic attack. It's, it's not a fun experience. But if you're asking, in order to learn that, I've watched every single one of those videos. I don't know why. I mean, it's it's not even like they're extremely interesting as I threw a stupid interception. How did I throw that? I should have been over his head. But uh, I, that linebacker's got springs for legs. Okay, well... All I gotta do is get a field goal and I win. And uh, that's pretty much how I want it to be. I want to be the only team that has a win in my conference for the longest time I can have it that way. Just because it looks funny to see that everyone else is like the exact opposite of what I've done. Which of course eventually it will change because they will, will be inner conference games. Which I don't think they're interconference games this game. So it, 
should still be possible. If it is possible, then that'll be the title of the video, and you'll know why it is that way. Because it's possible that I could be the only team with a win still. Rehealy. I hate that. Can we get an interception? No, we get overtime. Yay, I hate this game. I don't hate this game. I hate the fact that my pretty much amazing team, which don't get me wrong, I mean the team's only gotten better, and we won a retro ball just last season, so why would we be losing any games this season? We should go undefeated. I'd say it's next season where I'm going to fall into quite a few problems. Not even with the fact that I don't have enough talent. It's going to fall within the category of I don't have the money to re-sign everybody. Which is going to hurt. Because I'm going to have to choose probably one or two players that will no longer be on this team. Which of course I did choose last season as well. I had to get rid of the kicker. Fortunately, he was the only one I had to let go. Which of course I think the DB that I have, Duck, I think he's retiring this season. So that should free up a little bit of cap space. So maybe I don't have to worry about re-signing anyone for at least this coming up the end of this season or the beginning of the next. I guess it's technically when you do it, but I don't have to worry about re-signing anyone for that one or not having the money to re-sign is what I mean because I'm a free up about 18 mil in cap space or something like that. I don't know. We'll see how expensive it is. I do think it is the DB Duck. Also, fans are still not happy. No, Tennessee won. Dang it, Tennessee. Why you gotta be like this? I'm gonna praise the team. Let's see. Is it Duck or he'd already retired? He already retired. Okay. I'm insane, I guess. I'm remembering things that aren't true. Are one of you retiring? No, you're not retiring. Neither are you. I guess he already retired? Is someone up here retiring? No. Then who's retiring? Is that in a different playthrough? It might be. Okay, well, I do have the same problems last season. I'll have to re-sign the quarterback. He'll probably get more expensive or stay about the same. I don't have to worry about you. I know Singler's going to probably get more expensive. Vince, I don't think he... Well, he probably will. Hearns is definitely going to get more expensive. He'll probably want an extra 10 mil. Um, Wharton, he'll probably want about the same, maybe a little more. Depending on how he plays this season, Pascal's good. Rodgers, I'll have to sign him back. He'll definitely want more. And this kicker, I'll probably cut him. I mean, he's not good. He was just a, a replacement because he was the best kicker in the draft this go-around. So, I'd say he's probably going to get cut at the end of the season or the beginning of the next season just for cap space reasons yeah this season's gonna be tricky okay well Tennessee did win so that sucks we're not the only team with a win but oh well it still be the title but anyways uh that'll do it for this one if you enjoyed please hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the little bell so you know when and what I upload I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.